Thank you for joining us here today on Hill Country Happenings News Minutes. We hope everyone had a great holiday season. We're looking forward to 2019. In 2018 brought some changes to our station. We rebranded our station to Hill Country Network, and we love the rooster, by the way, and we changed some stuff to reflect the fact that we cover all of North Mississippi's communities. We love our original programs like Hill Country Happenings, From the Heart, and Cindy Incidentally, and we've added some new ones like the Pat and Allen Show. And this has been filmed here on this location, and we're glad we landed here in this wonderful space. And while I'm here, I wanted to talk to some of the folks involved. The first people that I'm going to talk to that's connected with the Pat and Allen Show is Pat and Allen. Hi, guys. That's Hi. us. <laughs> We've been having fun, haven't we? Lots yeah. of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. We just got through recording two shows here today. Great. Yeah. I mean, We've had I'm, some really I, great guests yeah. on our show this, this past season i know it we really have and, and we're hoping to get some of them to come back and some new people too you know we we're open to auditions at any time yes sure we'd, are. we'd love to have you if you want to sing come on yeah we're gonna have some information at the end of hill country happenings today where you can write in or you can even call us and and say hey i would i would like for y'all to hear me so we would we would like to have it i've, I've got a good friend up in uh eureka illinois that listens to us up there that is fantastic that's yeah. fantastic. I mean, anybody from all over the world can watch us. Yeah. Even over in China? Even over in China. All right. That makes me feel special. Yes. <laughs> We're even going to be talking about China at Hill Country Happenings today, but we'll get to that later on. So, how long have you been singing? I've been singing probably since 1970-ish, I guess, a little bit. We had a quartet. Uh called the Master's Quartet. And there's another Master's Quartet that says they're the original quartet, but they've got another thing coming. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we started that uh, and uh, moved from that uh, three or four years, I guess, there. And then uh, uh, we went to a trio uh, with my brother-in-law and my sister. Oh, nice. And so then you started doing other things like the car shows? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've been into the car shows for I guess about 35 years, and uh, Pat and Bill, her husband, are also in the car club with us, and we have a good time. We we eat a lot, as you can <laughs> tell. I do, I do, but uh, we have a good time. And it's a charity car show, and uh, we've made a lot of money and and given a lot of money to charities around here, and tried to help as much as we could. We have a good time doing that. So, how can somebody join the car show? All you got to do is come. We used to have a little $10 fee or $25 or something like that, but we don't have that anymore. So all you got to do if you want to join is just come. Uh, we meet the third Thursday. Thursday night of every month. And then in, in the summer, whenever the weather's good, we, uh, we meet at Sonic the last Saturday night of every month. And then they have a cruise in in Ripley the first uh, Saturday night of every month. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, uh, we go on trips together to the mountains and here and there. The coast. Wow. Go to the coast, yeah. Yeah, I remember you did that yeah. last year. Uh, and it's a lot of camaraderie, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of good times just being together. You don't have to do anything special, just be together, look at your cars, ride. So. <laughs> Meet a lot of new friends. There you go. You really do. It's good. So if you anybody out there wants to join up, uh, just let us know and... We'll tell you when it's going on. Matter of fact, we like it so well, we belong to two car clubs. <laughs> uh, there's one in Tupelo. Oh, wow. And we have our car show every year in October. Mm -hmm. And the last two years, we've had it right there by the Tallahatchie River. And that really gives us a good venue because we can, we can spread out. Mm -hmm. And the people who come and display their cars or even people who come just look at the cars, they have a lot of choices as to restaurants. Um, right shopping centers so yeah and that's at the biscuits and jam area where yeah. we do the farmers market yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it okay. our our money lots of times um, we give a lot of money to the uh new haven school we've been doing that for years uh that's like march good. of dimes sometimes uh, uh just different places uh families that need help we've we done scholarships do sharing for christmas yeah. uh with uh, five or six different places in, in christmas that we we try to give a little money too to help uh, buy gifts for kids. That's 
That's great. So, Pat, how long have you been singing? I'm not about to tell you the year like he did. You know, there is no way. Um, a, a southern lady Probably about does not three tell years. Me. Hey, you do not ask my age. You do not ask it. I started singing when I was a young teen in church. Um, was scared out of my mind, but I always wanted to get up and do it. And it's kind of gone with me through the years. And I still sing. Still sing in church. And Alan and I have sung in church. At, we went to Beulah together and sang together for several years there at Beulah, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And this is a new experience for us. It it's is. scary it's a little, little, little frightening uh, when you're, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. when you've got an audience like this, it's a little frightening, I'll tell you. And uh, I, I, Well, you know, the first six months, I mean, I have seen y'all grow so much from, yes, from the fact of, <laughs> ha ha, funny, funny, from the fact of this, to, to today when y'all were just kind of moving in. Yeah, you get a little, little, a little, little looser as time goes. Looser, yeah. So but it makes it fun. Yeah. It is. It's, I've, I've enjoyed it, I guess. It's, it's given us uh, uh, a better outlook on life. And, uh, you know, they, a smile goes a long way and, and a lot of joy in music. Thank y'all so much for talking well, with me you. here thank today. Thank you. On the we appreciate all that you do for us. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it, you've really and been good to us. And our people behind the camera, Miss Shirley Kowser. Yes. And our sound man. Yes, Mr. Jonathan Smith. Jonathan. Okay. Yeah. And we couldn't do it without Miss Evelyn. So. Yeah, I kind of crack the whip. <laughs> she does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, y'all stay tuned for the rest of the happenings. Hold on. <laughs> now from the Pat and Allen Show, I've got Miss Shirley Kowser. Hi. <laughs> Miss Shirley keeps the music going. I try. <laughs> Start it too quick and end it too soon. <laughs> hey, but they don't never know it. <laughs> no. No, because we edit it real good. They look good. I like being behind the camera instead of in front of it. <laughs> Miss Shirley, how long have you been with Alan? <laughs> oh, too long. <laughs> We've been married 53 years. Wow, that's great. I think it's 53. That's It'll be great. 54 this year, I guess. Well, I didn't ask Alan about your kids. How many children do y'all have? We have three kids, uh, two girls and a boy. They all live around here? Uh, well, the boy lives in Memphis. Well, that's close. Yeah, he lives fairly close. Close enough for me to keep the yeah. dog and the kids when they want to go somewhere. <laughs> that's great. So tell us how you got started on um, the programming and music and all that. I Alan wanted really to sing, and you needed to play music. Yeah, I guess that was it. I need, so they needed someone to do it. And Charles was always fiddling, so uh, yeah. I guess I got drafted into doing it. Well, that's great. Do you remember all the songs they've done? Pretty much. Do you? Because yeah. you always seem to know. Oh, I know this one, and this one's there, and this is because I, 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 I just kind of figured you did. Yeah, I know him. I cannot. He and I, it, neither one, have gotten to the age that we can't remember the name of the songs. <laughs> he'll say, what's the name of this song? And he'll sing it. And I said, I can't remember. You can tell him the next verse, though. I can tell him the next words. <laughs> it's amazing that he can remember songs and the words from songs that they sang back in the 70s, but he can't remember today's words well, on new songs. That's because he's got so much in there. Yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> I love this place that we're in. This well, is thank great. You. Thank you. Is it the, the Christmas show <laughs> was beautiful. You did wonderful decorating. Thank it. you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I, I know that we, we keep telling Miss Shirley that we're going to have to put some little additional stuff on this bookcase back here, but she keeps telling me she'll chunk it out in the yard <laughs> if I put Mississippi <laughs> State on her shelf. Right. <laughs> But you see that I did do you a favor. What did you do? I moved the two Ole Miss oh. pictures. I was afraid we were getting too much Ole Miss up there. <laughs> so I moved them, one there and one over there. Well, for you Ole Miss fans, no hating. For you Mississippi State fans, no hating. So That's right. So and I just Ole Miss. The Alabama people, good luck with that. So, Because <laughs> I've already asked them about that, too. Thank you so much, Shirley, for talking with me today. You're welcome. I and enjoyed it. Y'all hang on. we got more happenings. And we also started airing our own hosted horror show, Movies from the Tomb with Count E. Flack. Soon we're going to introduce you to the family behind this fun and informative show. 
Now, the Cat Show airs on Saturday night starting at 8 p.m. with a following encore show. He brings us movies from the tomb, the moldy oldies. And if you're a trivia fan, he brings us some trivia along with the movies, and he has some funny lines in there, too, sometimes. Now, we do have a brand new show coming up called Let's Talk. And that will start airing this week. And the times for the show is Thursdays at 9 a.m. and an encore showing at 5 p.m. We will have a Meet the Hostess section in the Happenings program today. And this show has been on our creative back burner for a while. But we had to wait until the right moment when four ladies were brought together by God so that they could interact. And we're so glad to welcome Let's Talk and the Hostess, Jessica Winston, Marta Bolin, Wanda Westbrook, and Sue Morrison. They will be talking about issues that affect women and their families, and as Sue says, all the people. And they will talk about a range of subjects and share some ideas. And we're launching our show, The Tallahatchie Tales, with Rick Robbins and myself, reading children's stories. The old classics like the Grimm Brothers, Hans Christian Andersen, the Browns Fairies, and some Aesop fables with a few more thrown in there. And we discovered there were so many stories out there, and some of the last generation had never even heard of them. Heck, some of our generation had never heard of them. And so we're bringing back others into the studio that have a variety of voices, such as Pat Hancock, Barry Wise, Jonathan Smith, Bill Galt, and others have lent their voice to this project. Rick and I hope you enjoy it. Now, we do air local church services on Thursday night starting at 7 p.m. and on Sundays starting at 8 a.m. And we need more church services. If your church would be interested in sending a completed service to us, we would love to air it. We also broadcast Love Worth Finding on Saturday and Sundays early morning at 2 a.m. Now, we do that for those that are seeking answers in the early morning hours. And we look forward to adding more of these types of programs. Now, Monday through Friday, starting at 5 a.m., we have programming that will help start your day. At 5 a.m., we have self-help shows. There are a variety of programs that we show at this time, and at 5.30, we broadcast a show called Happiness Jungle. Now, this show is, offers encouragement and helpful ideas on everyday subjects. At 6 a.m., we have yoga. At 7.30, we broadcast a variety of exercise programs. One day it might be jazzercise or taekwondo or other cardio exercises to get your blood pumping. It's a good way to start the day. Now, we have more new shows planned for 2019 season. We are looking forward to doing an author series and more children's shows. We want to show original films by local filmmakers and hopefully we'll have somebody to do a cooking show we've been asking for someone to come and jump into this role and do a cooking show crafting is a big need that we have also sewers and painters and builders are all welcome and we'll help you with production just let us know if you're interested we do have a website that we would like to invite you to visit hillcountrynetwork.net here you'll find our videos and our supporters you can watch our station on our live stream, and that way you can watch us wherever you go. You can go to our programs page and click on a program, and that will take you to our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to catch up on past episodes of our original programs. Also on our website, you can click on HCN Today, and it will take you to a news section of our website. This is something we're so proud of. We host a community calendar where we post press releases from various sources to keep you up to date on school happenings, state and federal news, and even world news. We have news from a science community from around the world also. It is a very informative site. Which brings us to our news today. Starting in 2019, the state of Mississippi will be issuing vehicle license plates with the new state seal. Thursday, Governor Phil Bryant released the following statement. I was proud to sign legislation in 2014 that added the United States national motto, In God We Trust, to the Mississippi State Seal. Today, I'm equally divided to announce that we will adorn our new Mississippi license plates with this seal. They will be available starting in January of 2019. The new license plate is tan in color and has the seal in the center. I've got mine already. It looks really nice. Now, flu activity is increasing in Mississippi and nationwide, according to the Mississippi State Department of Health. 
Now, the officials stated that nationally the flu is impacting children ages four and under with more hospitalizations in that age group than any other and 11 pediatric influenza deaths so far. In Mississippi, one pediatric flu death has been reported this season. We're seeing geographic spread as well as increase in flu activity, and we are receiving reports of nursing home outbreaks, said the MSDH State Health Officer, Dr. Thomas Dobbs. Again, it's very important to get your flu shots to protect yourself and those around you from getting the flu. It's not too late, as the peak season in Mississippi usually starts this month and lasts through March, stated Dobbs. Now, the weather is also listed on our website, and this week we should have seasonal temperatures with some rain in the early part of the week. Seasonal temperatures is 60s to 50s. So, get out and enjoy the sunshine. A formal groundbreaking ceremony was held at New Albany Elementary on Monday, December the 17th to kick off the school garden project at the school. Several community members and school officials attended the ceremony to show support for the project. The $120,000 school garden is there for people to use. Now, Tammy Reeder, the RN who serves as the health service coordinator for the New Albany School District, will serve as the project director for this grant project. She gave those in attendance a brief overview of six strategic goals of the school garden project that included develop a school culture of health and wellness by increasing health literacy, resulting in individuals taking accountability for their own health, increase sustainability health nutrition habits of school personnel, students, and their families by increasing awareness of the importance of a eating healthy foods, increase student knowledge of growing vegetables and fruits, incorporate the garden into the school's curriculum, improve behavior of students and the morale of teachers, improve the academic performance of the school. Now this project is funded through the grant from a Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi Foundation. And funding from this grant will be used primarily for the purpose of creating and expanding projects on the New Albany campus. Garden number one will be the focal point in front of the school. What is now the grassy area separating the school building from the main parking lot will be converted into a park-like atmosphere that includes attractive landscaping and walking paths. There will be more to come on this as the, as the project is completed. Now, China landed on the moon January the 3rd, 2019. The U-Rabbit 2 went to the moon. And if the photo was taken, by the number four lander surveillance camera C. The number four lander and the patrol car were successfully separated on the night of January 3rd, and the U-2 number two patrol vehicle reached the surface of the moon. On the lander, the U-2 number two, which was photographed by the surveillance camera, camera first trace of the image of the back of the moon. The Bridge Bridge Relay Star was successfully transmitted back to the ground. This is big news. And in 2019, Oxford Film Festival, which is February the 6th through the 10th, the first major stop on this year's regional film festival circuit has announced John Stimson's Ghost Light and the opening night Gallus Collections with Jacqueline Olive's Always in Seasoned tabbed as the festival's closing night gala selection immediately following its debut at Sundance. Another choice hot off Sundance will be John Strong's documentary, Long Time Coming, presented as a special screening. Oxford Film Festival's favorite Malcolm Ingram will present his latest documentary, Southern Pride, as a special screening as well. Also announced were the competition lineups of this year. Go to their website and look at it. Our own Jonathan Smith has a movie in here. Thank you for joining us here today on Hill Country Happenings News Minutes. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you subscribe, you will get alerts when we add our programs, and you'll be looking to get our subscription numbers up. So, as the number goes higher, we can do more with our channel, so please click subscribe. We would love to receive emails from you and cards and letters. All the information is on the screen, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause it and write everything down. We hope to hear from you. All of our shows would love to hear from their fans. 
We hope you have a good day and a wonderful week. My name is Jessica Winston, and I'm from New Albany, Mississippi. I've been here since I was three years old, and I love New Albany. I love the home feeling. I just, I love being at home. I moved to Memphis, and I came back after three years. I just love being at home. And my reasoning for wanting to do this show is because I love people, especially women. We go through so much, and I just want to be an encouragement to everyone, but again, especially women, to let them know that everything that we've been through, everything that we're gonna go through, that we're gonna make it with the love of Christ. You know, God loves us and I love people because God loved me. So that's the reason why I wanted to do this show and I'm glad to be a part of Let's Talk. So happy to be a part of it. Okay, when I think about subjects for Let's Talk, I think about relationships, I think about finances, I think about health, definitely health amongst the women. I think about feelings and emotions. I think about all kinds of things, traveling, um, friendships. I just think about a lot because there's so many things that women think about. So um, when I think about the topics of Let's Talk, I think about what do women want to talk about? What do women think about? When you get with your friends, uh, what do you all discuss? You know, that's my main thing. Um, that's what I think about. When I think about Let's Talk, I think about what matters to us. We would like to invite you to write to us if you have any questions or concerns. You know, write to Let's Talk. Um, with the concern of Hill Country Network at 102 East Bankhead Street, New Albany, Mississippi, 38652. Well, I'm Marta Sabrino Bolin. I am originally from Puerto Rico, and I live now in Edda, Mississippi. Uh, how did I end up here? Well, it's still a story, a long story, but the important thing is that God wants me to be here and wants me to work here and share my story and share with others and just be able to help other people. So I'm just happy to be here and excited about it. One of the topics that I really uh, would like to discuss is legacy. Uh, as I had two beautiful grandchildren just recently in the past month of July, I have come to, to realize how important legacy. What can we share with them, with our grandchildren, about our family, about our past, about a religion about spiritual beliefs and uh, just wonderful things of life. So I think the legacy and how to do it and what to do is one of the topics that I would like to discuss. There is a lot of different in culture uh, when you're from a Latino country and you live here. I hope that uh, this will open a window for Latinos to see that we are we are special too that we can adjust and share our culture and our beliefs and our love for our countries with uh, the people that live here and that they will benefit from all this that we will share here and our different visions and views and things. So I hope that that will help them uh, to conquer whatever they are looking for in this community. We'd love for you to write to us and uh, ask us questions and your opinion about different topics that we'll be covering. Let's talk at Hill Country Network. Hope to hear from you. Well, my name is Wanda Westbrook and I'm originally from Hermitage, Mississippi. And I chose to do Let's Talk Show because I wanted to be able to empower women, to inspire women, because we go through a lot of different things. And I think by us having this show, it will be a great way for us to communicate with the community and just let people know that you're never alone. I enjoy traveling. I enjoy spending time with my family. I enjoy bowling. That is something that I really enjoy doing. I'm not that good at it, but it's something I do enjoy enjoy doing. I also enjoy teaching Sunday school. That's something I really like. I would like for you all to write us to share your thoughts with us at Let's Talk. I'm Sue Morrison and I live at Edda, Mississippi and I'm originally from Missouri. I'm here today to participate with a community group um, that we have come together thinking that we could spur some communication 
and to uh, talk about some topics that are important to, to women, but other community members as well. Topics that are important to me include patriotism, uh, community unity, those, those are the most important things to me. Some things to do with loyalty and commitment um, in our religious faith is also important. Uh, please feel free to write in to 102 East Bankhead, New Albany, Mississippi, 38652. If you have topics that you would like to uh, share with us that we can have a discussion about, we would appreciate your input. Thank you.